Okay. We are now continuing with the isolation of the temporal lobe. Uh, if you remember, we have the half of hemisphere, and then we uh, we are just uh, taking account of sun structures that we can uh, identify clearly as the corpus callosum. This is the splenium of the corpus callosum. That means that this is the caudal part, which is close to the tail of the uh, hippocampus and also the back part of the parahippocampal gyri. In the uh, upper part, we have the uh, singular circumvolution, and also we can observe here the fornix. The fornix continues to the anterior column, which is uh, in the contact with the anterior part of the thalamus. Also here, we can see the intertalamic uh, commissure and the mammillary body, which are uh, good references for us. Now, we have to proceed to separate the uh, temporal lobe. Then we are going to turn the, the brain and we are going to identify the lateral sulcus. We separate the lateral sulcus and in the back, in the uh, bottom part, we can identify the insulae, the uh, insular cortex. In the insular cortex, in the frontal part, we can he see here the limen of the insula or frontotemporal uh, junction. And this is an important uh, part for us because we are going to start uh, to separate the temporal lobe in this size. Then uh, the most comfortable uh, way to do it is to put them separately, and then we can clearly identify the frontotemporal junction, and then we have here the superior temporal lobe. Then, with the scalpel, I start to cut this part very carefully because it's important to uh, okay. to separate it and do an incision. And before continue cutting, we turn to the middle side just to preserve all the structure uh, between the pulvinar nucleus. Here is very easy because uh, the sulci are uh, bigger and then we can uh, introduce our finger without problems, but maybe in the brains that you will have in your hands, it will be a little bit less uh, easier because the brain are well fixed. They are fixed by perfusion, and then you have to make sure that you make a hold between the uncus with your finger, the pulvina, and between the splenium, and then you can follow the fornix in the upper part. Okay? Now, one thing that we can do is uh, to do an incision where the red line is in the picture that you have in the PowerPoint, and uh, we use the blade, the, uh, this uh, knife that is special to cut the brain. Uh, we will provide you and we will help you. Uh, you have to be very careful because it's uh, a little bit dangerous. Then uh, we take uh, like um, our reference is a splenium of the corpus callosum and more or less one finger across uh, to the, through the occipital uh, lobe, we do an incision, a perpendicular incision, just to cut and separate the occipital lobe. Then uh, you have to cut as you have a knife without any problem. The occipital hemisphere. Now we come back to the other side, to the lateral side of the brain. And if you remember, we cut it before. The brains probably you have to do a cut going through the supramarginal gyrus. And the idea is to try to find the part to preserve more or less in this sense to preserve all the structure that we will need in the temporal lobe. We continue perpendicularly. 
and we can continue separating very carefully this part. As you can see, I will try to find the incision that I did in the back part and I arrive to the superior temporal love. Just to continue with this part. You can use also the, the blade, the cerebrotome, but it's easier with the, with the scalp. Okay, you just cut it. And make sure that you preserve all the parahippocampal circles. Parahippocampal love, sorry. I have to cut the fornix, as you remember, the fornix fimbria is here, it's clearly observed here. You can study the way. Now we have to cut it just to separate all the temporal lobe. In this moment, you can uh, Try to identify the pulvinal nuclei, which is very well exposed now. And also you will find in the uh, lateral ventricle, in the temporal uh, arm of the lateral ventricle, the corridor, corridor plexum that we can take out. And in this moment, the incision will be complete. Sorry to put my head in the middle. Okay, in this way we have a slate. Now we can observe the dorsal view of the temporal lobe. Here we have the lateral ventricle. Here we have structures from the diencephalon, like the basal ganglia. And now, in the lateral part, we can identify our superior temporal lobe. Oh, sorry. Our superior temporal lobe, which is complete. The uh, superior uh, sulcus, temporal sulcus. The medial temporal uh, lobe. The inferior temporal sulcus we separate for the inferior temporal uh, lobe, gyrus, sorry, and then we go to the ventral part of the brain. If you remember, this is lateral, this is medial, then a good reference is the parahippocampal gyrus will be in this medial part, ventromedial part, and then here we can see a prominent collateral sulcus, and then we have the fusiform uh, lobe, which is also called the occipital temporal medial uh, gyrus. Sorry, I'm using love all the time, but it's gyrus. And this would be the other part, the occipital temporal lateral uh, gyrus. In this moment, you can enjoy to separate and to observe the structure which makes the hippocampus here in this part, in the ventral medial view. Now we can observe clearly all the uncus with the banda of Giacomini, with the gyrus semilunaris, uh, intralimbicus, sorry. And here is now visible the gyrus, the gyrus semi-annularis with the, uh, the, semi, the gyrus semilunaris, sorry, with the sulcus semi-annularis. Now we have here the uh, rest of the structure that Ricardo has described before and that you can study in your own uh, specimen. Also, in the lateral part we can here see clearly the dentate gyrus which is running from the uh, head of the hippocampus through the body and through the tail of the hippocampus. 
Now you can uh, separate different structures, you can uh, just run. We have all the structures identified in the uh, in the in the uh, hands book that uh, we give you. And uh, maybe it's difficult to see some of the structures like the Girus fasciolaris or the Giri of Andrea Recci, uh, but uh, you should try it. That's all for, for me. I think if you have any question, it's quite easy this part, uh, we, I can answer you.